Hi everyone. Do you want to create some cool time-saving tools for your end users? Of course you do. Well, you've come to the right place. As with each new release, Oracle has created some incredible new tools. So today we're talking about the new Orchestrator Studio, included in the new tools release 9.2.4, which came out November 8, 2019. It's easier to use, more intuitive, with a new interface, and it's now deployed on an AIS server so you don't need an ADF server. Today we're going to show you how to use it and show you how easy it is to create an orchestration compared to the previous version. First let's show you what we're going to orchestrate. Let's go to P0011, work with batches, enter E in batch status and click search which shows us the batches in error. This is what we're going to create an orchestration for. The first thing you do is create a service request. So go to the top right and click record a process and then start. Open the application, P0011, work with batches, enter E in the batch status and then click find and then click cancel. When you click cancel, it presents a pop-up window where you provide a name, description and product code. Then save the object. This creates a service request, so even the service request we are not creating manually, but instead the process recorder is doing it for us. Now go to Orchestrator Studio and click Form Requests and you'll see what you just created, SR underscore P0011. Check the input value. It is batch status equal to E. Click on Work with Batches Grid and if you want to see all the rows, select all rows and select the fields you want to return. Let's do batch date, batch number and batch status. So just these three fields will be returned. Now click save the request. Now we need to create the orchestration. So click home and then orchestrations then click new to take us to design mode and create a new orchestration. Now we enter the name of the service request and a description. As you can see, it has created the start and end points automatically. You see the plus sign in between. So that's where you add your orchestration. Click Add, then Form Request, and the form request you created. Now you see it's added in between the start and stop. If you hover on it, you see the description. If you click it, you see some options. Select the Transformation option. Click Add Inputs to Orchestration, then click Auto Map, which will map the correct values. We don't want to pass the version, so remove that. So now just click outside the pop-up and click start. Click inputs and values. As you see the version was added automatically. Let's remove it. You have to define the output as well. So click end, go to the transformation and select all. So now we have defined what will be written by the orchestration. Now click this zoom to fit button to take us back to the middle and let's save it. Click the design mode button. If you want to add or delete or modify the orchestration, this is where it all happens. Let's exit design mode. Now let's run it. Previously we had to go to the orchestrator client. Now it's much simpler. Just click the start button and then the run button which takes us to the orchestrator client. Now enter the value to pass E to see what all the batch numbers that failed and on which dates. Click run. This runs the orchestration. So now you have created the orchestration, mapped the orchestration and tested the orchestration with the help of this new simplified orchestrator studio. The old Orchestrator Studio is a section in our IoT Install Complete Reference Guide. If you read and study this guide, you are taking steps to becoming a smarter, more informed, better educated JDE professional. In a few weeks, this old Orchestrator Studio section will be replaced by the new Orchestrator section, which lays out what we just talked about in this video. For those of you who don't have the guide, you can purchase it by sending a request to info at respoclouds.com. The guide sells for $499 USD and will pay for itself with just one orchestration. That's right, just one orchestration from one section of the guide. There are 13 other sections in this guide. By not buying this guide, you're costing your company thousands of dollars. By the way, this guide comes with three free phone calls of up to one hour each for anything covered in this guide. You know the cost of consultants, so you do the math. That's all for now. Bye-bye.